Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be going through the best teams and equipments that you can run for LL Super Vegeta. I don't have him so I'm going to put that out there straight away but there are a lot of teams that you can run with him but what I will say before we even get anywhere into the video, the teams you currently can run with him aren't the greatest. So what I advise you do is find a melee team that you could lead a slot him on or fit him in even though he doesn't actually have a core team that is very very solid at the moment i'll do my best to guide you so you can build a team around him and show you the equipments available as i have to say there are some good equipments but i'm talking too much right now let's get straight into the video okay so the first team we got is obviously vegeta clan vegeta clan is going to be the first team we're going to be talking about right now i've got a red red purple setup where you'd be using ape vegeta obviously the lf super vegeta that's who the video is about and Bulla and Vegeta assist. So those will be your three. You got the Bulla on assist. You'll be running red, red, purple. Then you got double Zenkai buff. And then you've also got a HP buff with the Sab Jacket Vegeta. So yeah, if we go into the character list, we're going to go through your other options. Like I've shown you, you don't have him, but let's look at what you could possibly run. So I've seen some people try to run Boo Bros, right? And Boo Bros could work if you have them at maybe like nine stars or higher, but I wouldn't actually consider them if I'm being honest. If you're going to run a blue, I'd say stick to Sword of Hope Trunks. Sword of Hope Trunks is super good because he has the endurance. He's able to break your combo when his gauge fills. So he can work very well with any Vegeta clan member. If we go into greens, Evo can work well, but they're a range type. So maybe if you have a high star tag force, you might want to use them. But again, I wouldn't advise using the green anyways. I feel like it just kind of messes up the team, but these two can work. If we're going through purple, please use Bulla. It's literally like your only choice. If you're not using them, you're pretty much cooked. If we're going to yellow, I don't consider any yellows of, of value. I've seen some people try to use Trunks of Vegeta, but it's really just Colpium, man. Uh, I haven't seen this pan. There's no point because there's already so many good reds. So I'd say stay away from the yellows in general. Then your red is obviously going to be Super Vegeta. But if you're not using him or you want to have another red, like I've shown you with my team setup currently, you'd be using a Vegeta. So that would be your whole Vegeta clan setup. Like I told you at the start of the video, it is a team option, but it's not a very, very good team. At the moment, they have a Vegeta who's kind of decent, I'm not going to lie. His endurance is good and he can do some good strike damage. Bull is doing some good support, but you need them decently starred. So you would have had to summon the GT banners or the GT banner, specifically uh, Super 17. Then you would have been low on CC to try and summon for Super Vegeta, which kind of sets you back. So yeah, it's kind of tough, but it is what it is if you have the pieces to build the team but even then it's not like the most optimal team that you could build ever so it's just the first team i gotta mention we got vegeta clan do what you can with that i don't think i went through any bench but double zenkai buffing is an option and if i actually change the settings so if i turn on vegeta clan then you go to ex there are two you can run depending on if you're still sticking to red red purple so where's it is this android here android 13 his Z ability is actually really, really good. If you go to it, you can see they're 50% red and green. If you have the purple on the leader slot, you can have him on. And then it would literally be as great. I'm not going to lie. Then if you go to purple, there's the Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku here. His uh, Z ability is pretty good as well. Red and purple, 50% strike attack. So if you add that as well, you can get a, a good amount of strike attack as well. Those, those two would actually fit as well as if I had the Zenkai boss. So it's up to you, to be honest, but it depends on the pieces that you've got. But yeah, that's the first team. We got Vegeta Clan. The number two team we've got here is Saiyans. Saiyans is actually already a good team. But if you want to add Super Vegeta to the team, you'd be making him the key focus. So you're going to be having him on the leader slot. Then you can see through the bench, we've got some good pieces here. So Bardock and Goku is already amazing. Bomb Q is really good as well. You've got Kakarot Goku here giving Super Vegeta a kind of a Zenkai buff. It's, 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 it's the cheaper versions. But then the Z ability is for Goku. But because he's leader slot, he's going to get that too. So you've got a Zenkai buff for Super Vegeta. Then you've got a double Zenkai buff for Bardock and Goku through the Namek Ku and Super Saiyan 3 because they're blue and, and, and blue and green. Then you've also got one Zenkai buff for Bomb Ku over here. And if you even wanted to, you could double Zenkai buffing him by having like Pan here instead of Super Saiyan 3. Then you could give uh, Bomb Ku two Zenkai buffs instead of the one. And at the same time, you'd also be giving uh, Bardock and Goku a Zenkai buff as well because of the Son family bit. So if I actually show you here, take off the saiyan then if you look at the top here we got pa pan if you go to the zibli son family and then son family so you could double that way instead of having super saiyan 3 then allow the the leader slot to still be super vegeta you know that works 
Saiyan, you'd be forcing him on the team. This obviously isn't the only build you can run, but I think it's a good build nonetheless if you wanted to make him useful. Now, let me go to the character list and show you some other options. Saiyan already has a ton of options, so we're going to have to dissect what's good and what's not. So in the blue section, Bardock and Goku, Bomku, nobody else, I'll be honest. Let me just scroll down. It's only Super Vegeta that I'm missing. If we go to green, you can use G4, Pycon, but then it kind of throws things off. For example, with Pycon, right, we know that, he, that he's a Saiyan because it's Super Gogeta, but his ability, it doesn't exactly um, mesh well with Super Vegeta because of the thing, the uh, Vegeta clan. So if you're not running one leader slot, you might be cooked. So depending on the pieces they use, you have to be careful about that. He does, Pycon does buff Saiyan, but if you're not running Pycon, um, if you're running Pycon on Saiyan, on the leader slot, sorry, then you'd have to think about where you're going to be putting uh, Super Vegeta. So you kind of have to keep him on the leader slot the whole time, which is what I'm trying to emphasize. So yeah, Pycon Gogeta, G4 would be your main two. If we're going into purples, I wouldn't even run a purple, I'll be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't run a purple, I'd stick against it. And yellows, I wouldn't run one either, I'll just be honest. But then for red, it's obviously going to be Super Vegeta. So you can see I've kind of stuck to blue and green just because Bardock and Goku. But greens have some options. And pretty much that would be your setup for Saiyans. It's kind of bad. I know. I, it's, but it's the best you can do. And the pieces are all like released close together. For example, Bomku just released last month. So that's tough. But it's the best that you can do. And you know there's already Zenkai buff options. Pretty much the best setup I could show you for this team. We are now going to be going into some equipments. And this equipment is one I have to mention first. So the time machine takes off. It's a Vegeta clan equipment. You get pure of both. It's in the co-op right now. You get strike and blast, attack, pure, then defenses, then special move, which is what you'd want. And you can get it from the co-op and the uh, dual coin exchange shop. Those are the two places you can get. Even though this equipment here, Kamehameha, well, it doesn't even say the ha, is blast based, you can still get the special move and ultimate damage. Some people might want to just specify that. If you're running Zenkai buffs, it's not really going to make the biggest difference anyways. You're still going to have offenses through your Zenkai buffs, so it's fine. But really and truly, just remember the team you're running on and how you're building him. If there's no Zenkai buffs, I wouldn't recommend this, but the special move and ultimate is good. You can get this from the ultimate equipment collection for normal Cell Saga. This equipment here is solid. Awakened Vegeta's Anger. You can see you get Strike Attack from the first slot, Strike Attack in the second slot, Special Move, and some Blast Attack. Blast attack. So it's pretty much everything in one, which is super good. How you can get this, the memory is from Ultra Space Time Rush. And if you want to find these equipments, you can pretty much look at it. So you can see it's a Vegeta. So I'm going to assume it's Vegeta clan. We're going to go to characters, right? We're going to go to characters, equipment. Then you want to go to the archive. Then from the archive, you can pretty much change the settings to find it accordingly. So in this case, I'm going to assume it's Vegeta clan. Just going to assume, right? And it's not. So I'd have to go another way. They had like Vegeta mentioned. So I could even do a search. There we go, and you can see it's right. There we go, and you can see it's right there. It's for Vegeta specifically, how to get, and then you can see the Z medals, equipment medals. Use the archive to find the unawakened version because you need the unawakened versions to uh, awaken the equipment and get the awakened version, which is what I just showed you. Next up here is this new equipment, specifically for Vegeta Clan or Cell Saga. You can see here Vegeta Clan Cell Saga, so it's actually just directed at this Super Vegeta. But how you can get it? Again, the memory from the Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush, but you're going to need the base. So the base here is for Vegeta Clan. The base is still good, but obviously the Awakened is better. And you can get here from the Z Metal Exchange Shop and the Equipment Metal Exchange Shop. So two places. Vegeta is a melee type unit, so you can get this equipment here. It's the Legends Ranking Melee Equip. You can just get a lot of strike cards from it and some strike defense, which is obviously decent. How you can get it from the Legends Ranking Exchange Shop, you're going to need to awaken it, of course. But the memory is where you're going to need to get the most. And then you fill the pieces when you go to awaken it. If you're running them with Bardock and Goku and you don't, I mean, you don't have the Vegeta clan one. So on Saiyans, this equipment can be useful. You can see there's for Saiyans, but it's going to give you pures based on if you're running Bardock and Goku. So Bardock, you get the blast. Goku, you get the strike. You're going to be running Baku. So you'd be getting both. And then you also get special move in the same way. You know, I think it's even a bit more 12%, which is good. So you can get this from the dual coin exchange shop if you have it. This is the last one I'm going to mention. It's not especially good, but it's just something low tier that you might be able to use. You can see you get special move 10%. Don't go for the key recovery. You get strike attack. Don't go for the blast. And you got HP here, which is always, always good. And then you can get 
from the Z Metal Exchange Shop. It's just something low tier that I have, but it's easy to actually upgrade it, unlike a lot of these equipments nowadays. But yeah, man, that's going to be the end of the video. I know it might have not been the most helpful, but Vegeta Clan is just in a terrible state, and Saiyan is already so good without this Super Vegeta. Super Vegeta isn't necessarily bad, but he's not especially adding anything to the game. It's really just a preference, man, whether you want to use him or not. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for watching, man. My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.